Night Job, Fitz Dragon's first album. So, how did this album come into being? What's its purpose? How was it made? What's it sound like? Well, to answer that, let me first introduce you to me. My real name is Mark, but I go by stage name is Kid Fitzy, and I am the head musical director and lead songwriter for the folk rock, rock project Fitz Dragon. Now, this album is rather funny because it, it was intended to be just for friends and family only. It was only a month after its release when I, when I heard about District Kid and thought, hey, why not? Let's just put it on the, in the stores and see what happens. But anyway, it was intended to be just, just an album I wanted to make. I had this album in me my whole life, you know, or at least the desire to make an album. You know, since I was in my teens, my 20s, my 30s, most of my 40s, I recorded this at 47. And I always wondered, what would it be like to make an album? And if I did, what would it sound like? Now, I didn't have the benefit of having like a full orchestra to make this or a full rock band. This is a very minimalist album. It's just basically my lead vocals uh, and my acoustic guitar. And that's it, a little percussion, shaker, tambourine. I, I play a recorder at the end of uh, the building, which is a spoken word piece. Uh, there's an acapella track on here, which is tambourine. Um, but basically, it's just all acoustic guitar. What really makes this album stand out, I think, is because it, it's so minimalist. You know, uh, how would I describe it? It's, it's, it's sort of like folk. You know, there, there are folk elements all over it. But what, how I would describe it as very minimalist, spacey, echoey. There's a lot of echo on it. And it's just, you know, you can't get more indie than this. This is the ultimate indie album right here. So um, if you have uh, if you have the time and the wherewithal, go and check it out. It's, uh, it's on Apple Music. It's on uh, Spotify. It's, it's on Bandcamp if you want to listen to it there. But a little bit of a backstory about it. When uh, I had this flu back in uh, 2017, April to May 2017, and I was out of commission for about three weeks, and that was rough. It was very rough. And so I decided, what am I going to do to celebrate the fact that I'm still alive? This thing nearly killed me. And I was thinking to myself, what about making an album? And then I came across an artist called Daniel Johnston who had his own album, you know, uh, that was just basically him just doing his own little thing. And I thought, hey, I mean, I know this was like nearly 30 years ago, but it's possible. Maybe I could, should do the same. So I just uh, I grabbed Sylvie. I, I, wrote, I wrote some songs that first afternoon when it occurred to me to make an album. Uh, what Can Do Rats, and uh, oh, what was the other one I wrote? Oh, The Building. I wrote the lyrics to The Building. And, uh, and I just kept writing and writing and writing, and uh, soon enough I came up with 12 songs so I could put on this album. And uh, so anyway, I'm rambling on a bit here, but if you want to check it out, you know, it's a very basic album, you know, no frills, but nevertheless, I think what makes it really good is, is, is the vocals. I used a really good mic at the studio. The, the, the guitar tracks are all recorded in the kitchen. But the vocals were done in, the stu in, a, in a professional studio. So, um, yeah, check it out. And that's the story behind the first album. And I'll be, uh, I'll be checking in later with you for the story of the second album. Cheers.